multisensory math, and the CRA method. Just like in an OG reading lesson, we read quantities with our hands. In this example, we are building 125. I read it by saying, what is 125 made of? 100, two tens, and five ones. We then manipulate and read quantities one place value at a time, adding and taking away groups of 10 or hundreds, eventually working towards fractions of one. Here in this video, you can see that we break a craft stick to create a half. The prompt was to build three and a half. We then talk about how the word fraction means to break. We broke it into equal parts. Representational is the drawing of pictures. In this example, we're extending the lesson from using craft sticks and working with improper fractions using pictures. We regroup them to make quantities of one. The student names the quantity and then regroups the half pieces to make one and then moves it into the ones column. Again, we read the quantity out loud, naming what it's made of. Abstract is all about just numbers. The language we built and used in the C and R parts are used to build bridges to the abstract. In this example, we identified the place value of the red number and then talked about what it's made of. Four, ten thousands, eight thousands, three hundreds, one ten, and nine ones. Our goal with multisensory math is to remove the need for concrete because it's inefficient. We can move through the CRA method quickly with students and build linkages or bridges for students to develop their number sense. If you have more questions for me, please reach out to us at mathformiddles.com.